So the next couple of paintings have become a bit more complex. Um, but yet I'm still not at the point where I'm happy with them. And um, But they're getting there. It's like, it's a process. The more paintings you do, the more experience you get, the more knowledge you get, and the more confident you become about, you, you become with the certain uh, images that you're working with. Like at first the birds were really just uh, single birds. But now as I'm getting comfortable with the birds, like they're starting to get like double heads and two eyes and, um, you know, I'm really starting to play with layering and, and colouring and getting a, a better combinations. And um, it's just, you know, the more you do, the more comfortable you become. Um, and once again with this painting as well, it's where I've started to use just this gestural mark making on top of my stencils to sort of give uh, like life to uh, to the paintings whereas the stencils well the bird stencils are very robotic in a way they're just sort of you know one image there they are but by adding my own gestural mark making on top of the artworks it just brings them to life uh, unfinished again so not sure which of the, of the direction but there are elements I love I mainly love this this panel going down here and I really like this area here I think that works really well compositionally um, and how it, how it jumps around I think works quite well your eye sort of doesn't rest in one spot it's sort of there's enough going on and yet there's a space here for your eye to rest um, but this whole red color I'm not too sure about I'm gonna have to change it tonally a little bit um, whereas I did want to have more greens on this side and like red like half of the canvas is red and the other one was more greens but now that I've actually worked this side I, I love these colors so I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something. So the bird series, well this bird series that's starting to um, evolve, I think is going to turn into some major work eventually. Um, so you can see my progression from, you know, one painting to the next. They're starting to get more complex. I mean starting from like just the basic bird image and yet now they're progressing into much more elaborate designs and patterns and that's that's what you have to do um, with the series you just have to keep working an image over and over and you'll start to develop it and that's how that's how you do it so then the Madonna miss, the series emerged uh, I guess that was this Madonna image of her head was actually the original stencil that I created. It was the first face stencil I had ever created. And um, it turned out really good. And um, the textures in this artwork are just uh, are brilliant. I just, I, I, I can't be more happy with it. In saying that, I don't think it's finished. Um, it, needs, it needs something here. I have no idea what it needs yet. And... I guess, you know, you can't expect to finish paintings overnight. Um, sometimes you need to let them set and let them rest. And then, you know, one day you look at it again and go, oh, I know exactly what it needs. So, you know, it's all about timing and the time isn't right. But I sold the other Madonna painting um, at my exhibition. And that, that was had all green, similar style, but it was all greens behind it. And the Madonna head was in the middle. Um, and um, that was that was a, one of my favourite paintings. So I'm going to continue this series, um, not necessarily going on with Madonna head. Um, maybe I'm going to choose another famous person's head. I haven't decided exactly yet. Maybe I'm going to put my head there as well. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, this little work here is another one in the um, texture series the abstract texture series and it's absolutely one of my 
favourites. It's been at the gallery in Oslo. Um, I just like the darkness of it. And um, I'll just put it on the side to see if you can get the textures. But, yeah, love the darkness of that work. And that's where I've used the bitumen. And the reason I use the bitumen is because it gives a really nice gloss for some reason. I just love the gloss, the glossy shine. And I don't like using oil, so um, it really worked well. And this was uh, another small work using a Chinese cat stencil and just the normal stencil and the moons. Like, you know, full moon, half moon, quarter moon, etc. Because I love moons and I love the uh, cycle of the moons. And I um, was quite happy with how this work turned out. It's quite shiny. Um, and, um, yep, yeah, so that's that one. Another one in the small cat, the smaller cat series was this one. Um, I've used sandpaper, sparkle. And um, the bitumen is uh, like the medium in between uh, the acrylic and the, uh, the background to get that, that effect. So I need to fix it up a bit. Um, some of it's chipped off so I need to repaint it. I don't know if you remember but I told you when I was at university one of my art projects in um, printmaking uh, was I created a superhero um, using Superman well I was using a lot of different male images um, this is a really bad example like I said I don't actually have any uh, prints left because I sold them all but I can get copies because uh, one guy I s have sold three three of the really good ones to um, three different styles of the same image um, he has them on his wall so I'm going to ask him to send me a photo um, because I've done one like in in uh, pop art style and this and another ones the other ones you can see like his muscle definition um, you can also see like there's a hand like coming coming uh, like a hand like there's a hand coming down here and there's his genitalia you can see but in the other one you can see it much better. So I sort of overlaid all these images. Um, and uh, like I said, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll have to show you. Uh, there's another one there, but it's being covered up with... Um, I was making a box. We had to make this, this box at uni um, as a technique. So, yeah. So I'm going to try and get a hold of the Superman image. So I found another bird canvas. This is one slightly larger. And um, I'm not really particularly happy with this one at all, really. Um, I was when I first did it, but looking back now, I'm not so content with it. There's elements that I like, um, but it definitely needs to be painted over in a lot of areas. I think this is when I just started to use the gestural strokes for the first time and I was a bit stiff using them. I needed to loosen up a bit. Um, as you can tell by the other ones, they're much more looser in my ge gestural mark making, whereas these ones, those are, you know, it's a bit tight. But um, things that I like about this work is... Um, uh, I actually particularly like this bird here. So these were like rainbow lorikeets. Um, they eat mangoes and stuff for Austra in Australia quite a bit. We grew up with them. So I was sort of trying to recopy this this look of them. Um, but this red background sort of is a bit overpowering. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to try and paint it out a bit more and then work, work them back over again and um, go from there.